Hello, my name is Michael, and welcome to our Rocket Science review on our Spike Prime box. This is going to be a brief coverage of the Spike Prime box. If you want to see more detail on what's going on inside of the Spike Prime box with like detail of each element and where they're placed, then check out our other video on more detail descriptions and tour. So let's get started. This is your top tray plate that's going to be inside of your box and it's going to give you quantity of every element in your box. Also inside of your box, when you prep your Spike Prime set, you're going to have stickers that you'll place inside as well for referencing for students to get those elements in the right spot and help when class is going so to go smoother and more efficient. On our area here, you'll see that there are two separate tray pieces here. And you'll notice here that there are two separate tray elements here. They did separate those boxes out. And I think that'll allow you to have the students to build in separate areas and allow them to maybe even share a box while they're separated and have these on different sides. So getting our tour started, You'll see in the top left corner, more uh, spherical pieces. Here you have your new Lego brick elements that have the two by four with the detailed piecing for the uh, cross part. And you have all of your pegs in this section, again, which reference to the top section and your axles here, which you'll measure on this part right here. It'll show you how to measure axles per holes. And you can reference this, this uh, this top sheet when you're in class as well. We're gonna move over to the right side of this split box here. And you have your angled beams, which are at the top left of that part. You have your, your snap connectors and your new waffle piece with a new caster, which is fantastic. And it is a, dig it out here. It has a plastic caster roller, which is lighter and it has a lot of connectability on it which is which is really exciting to have a little bit different upgrade from the ev3 model and here you're going to have your conical gear no spur gears in this set all of these are conical gears which mesh together well and you'll have your new 28 tooth gear here which works really good and kind of brings the missing piece of those conical gears together large rag gear pulley wheels pulley belt and in this area, you have an array of great colors for your, your uh, Technic uh, beams, excuse me. And you have those great colors. What I like about this, these colors are, you won't get them mixed up like we did with the EV3 set. We were building the 13 and the 15 were the same color and some of those did get mixed up with building track systems and other elements. So you'll know that the 13 is the teal, the black, is a 15 and those elements running there. So that's the top of our box. Let's move over to the lower part of our box. Let me get set up here for that. And in those sections, we have our base and a lot of great elements in there. You're going to be housing your hub, which is your brain brick with all the information, your new larger base plate waffle piece, your new wheel area, download cable, new large motor and medium motors, your new color sensor. Yes, a lot of new great things in here. And I'm moving around the box a lot there, yes. Your new force sensor, which, reg which uh, calculates in newtons and your new infrared, oh, excuse me, uh, ultrasonic sensor which is not infrared on this one and the front eyes light up on that a few other new pieces in there uh, larger frame pieces so please enjoy this set if you need more detail please subscribe and like our videos and we'll get more detail on other elements talking about spike prime and coding and more detail on the motors and everything thank you for joining look forward to seeing you guys again